Hey, welcome to Campaign Codex. Uh, this beta's got a bunch of features um, and we'll get that through testing and then out to public as soon as we can. So we'll just uh, jump through uh, all the kind of updates. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened on the UI space. So theming has had a big improvement. Uh, I've gone through and uh, consolidated it and made sure that the colors are a little bit more consistent. So hopefully uh, that kind of tackles a lot of those issues. Uh, you can also now add a um, image to the uh, background of your sheets if you want. Uh, so you can just jump into uh, the themes there and apply that. Uh, you can also um, change the opacity and the like. Uh, and then also within themes, you can uh, set it to override to light or dark mode. So uh, it's just to ensure that uh, your texts and uh, buttons and things like that uh, behave as you expect them to um, or you can just set it to uh, no override as well and you can reset it out to defaults um, if we just go back to uh, turning off the themes you will note uh, that um, that it will respond to the light or dark thing that you have set in foundry uh rolling on with the ui stuff we've got a little collapse to sidebar um option on all the sheets a lot of the buttons have been removed off to context menu so you right click to do it uh, example like uh, the app link to actor sheet up here uh, tags uh, things like all the region and entry cards are all kind of uh, right click so if there's a button you're expecting and it's not there uh, use the right click and it should work. Uh, another bunch of improvements are in the table of contents. So if we jump over to tags, you'll note we've got a little tag cloud. You can click on that uh, and it's a uh, and kind of filter. So if it's in Cold of Dragons and Onward Enclave, it will show up. Uh, you can right click to make it a uh, exclude. So all the Cult of the Dragons excluding all the Onward Enclave uh, and if you go ahead and share uh, visibility of a sheet from the table of contents, uh, every linked player will get a little pop-up saying that it's been shared. So uh, they're aware that something has come across. Um, continuing on with the UI stuff, we will jump on to widgets. And there have been a bunch of new widgets added. Uh, you can see here... Um, you can add widgets to the information tab and you can add widgets to the widgets tab. Uh, and there are a few widgets on the sheet already. We've got loaded on this reputation tracker, which is this little one down the bottom. And you can link that to uh, the D&D loyalty on a uh, character sheet if you've got it enabled. Or you can just use it uh, as a your own tracker. We've got here relationship tracker extended, which is this one, and you can add uh, your player characters and keep track of their relationships individually and then we've got this relationship tracker scale and this is just like a positive negative scale no numbers visibly uh, associated uh, but you can do that like per uh, player character as well so um, you kind of get a choice of your granularity there um, we also have got a few other uh, widgets added so we've got here uh, a progress clock so if you've got a countdown or a count up to something uh, you can set it to however many segments you like you left click to in, uh, increment it and right click to uh, decrease uh, we've also got um, a uh, some stuff linked into the mini calendar so we've got here a mini calendar forecast so they'll bring in the weather uh, and that will uh, expand out. So the widgets have been changed, so they're a little bit more tiling uh, and um, a little bit more modular. So like if we get rid of progress clock here, that expands out. But if we add in a couple of progress clocks, because they're only a one item, you know, it will um, expand and uh, contract as uh, needed. So this weather one will bring in the weather from a uh, mini calendar uh, then we also have got a mini calendar events uh, and then this one will just bring in the uh, upcoming events so here we've got lunch set to tomorrow and this um, 
this 10 days is whatever your week length is. So if your calendar is seven days, it will be seven days. Um, here, Haptos is 10 days, so it's looking 10 days ahead, basically um, a week. And this is another little flexible one. It will take up half the width if it's available. Uh, and then the other mini calendar one is we've got a mini calendar timeline. Uh, and then this one will bring in uh, events. If you're a player, you'll only see ones which you've uh, been able to see. Uh, and it'll also bring in uh, all the um, other reoccurring events. And you hover over and get the little text from it. You can get in here and filter. So you can like get rid of all the reoccurring ones. Or you could filter by type. Uh, and that's just bringing in the icon. So if you've got your reoccurring ones and you've set it up in the calendar with a bunch of different icons, these icons will uh, automatically generate here. So you can choose uh, what to show and what not to show. Uh, and that will uh, persist as well. So uh, you can have different widgets showing different information as you like it. Um, some other widgets that have been added are a um, image gallery. So if you just want to share some images on a sheet with your players, it will um, do a four wide grid uh, before kind of dropping down to the next one. So you can kind of choose how you want that to display. Click on it to see a bigger version, show your players, or your players can explore it um, themselves. And we've also got our role tables. Uh, so if you want to quickly link off some um, roll tables to your sheets, that is uh, easy enough to do. It's just drag and drop a roll table over and it will just create a little grid of roll tables uh, that you can click on uh, to roll from or, you know, a click on the trash to remove. Uh, and we also have got um, a... Uh, a um, merchant roll counter as well so this merchant counter here uh, and here you can drag and drop roll tables which have got items uh, which uh, these ones here and pretty easy to create actually if you've got a folder full of items uh, you can just right click on that and go create roll table uh, and that is done so then you can kind of uh, drag and drop that over to this merchant and then you can either restock from all of the tables you click that and or roll all three tables and add to the inventory or you can click individual ones as well and it will uh, add it to the uh, inventory uh, this is only viewable by uh, the gm uh, as is the roll table one so your players uh, will not be able to see that jumping on to the other big feature is um tags so uh, tags have always kind of been their own uh, reskinned kind of um, NPC sheet, but they are now their own uh, tag sheet. Uh, and you can change that by clicking on uh, this tag button up here to migrate your old tag sheets to the new tag sheet. Uh, it's a one way migration, but I'm not forcing you to do it at all. You're going to miss out on a couple of features if you don't, though. Uh, so if we click this Migrate button, you will see that we now have got uh, a sheet which looks a little bit like a group sheet. Uh, and you can click on it and you can see uh, all the information as you would with uh, the group sheet uh, as well. And then you've got your, your own informational stuff from it as well. Uh, along with the updates to the uh, group the tag sheet we can now add tags to groups your normal kind of drag and drop thing or you can click up here and we've got they so we'll click that uh, and you'll see here we've got um, the group sheet so you've got another kind of level of um, organization as you want um, and the um, group sheet here will uh, persist on its uh, filtering mode that you set for it as well um, there is a few other kind of things behind the scenes that have changed as well um, but do make sure to jump onto discord and patreon if you got feedback any bugs and the like uh, and we'll try and push this out to public as um, 
fast as we can. Thanks.